Now this is a gasoline bus. There were no such things at that time as diesel buses. So what does one do when the bus stops and it can't get any further? Well, you get out and push. And we did, every one of us. slowness it managed to creep up and then we waited until down down whatever that Just is and we climbed in. What else? You said something about tricks. Tricks, surely not. Yes, surely. One day we were taking out from a town, I don't remember the town, I don't shall live in Ignite. Uh, but uh, we were taking out, and all of a sudden, a police siren cranked up from behind us. With all flashing lights on, he pulled the bus over, and he said, there is a thief on this bus. <laughs> oh boy, what in the world happened? Fortunately, he found the thief. She was in the outdoor section. Nice people out there, but she was in the outdoor And in fact, her name was Maxine Thompson, later Miller. Anybody know Maxine? Anybody know her? Not many of us would claim to, but she was a wonderful person. I've always thought that she was a dream and recently deceased. But uh, so they finally let us go. They had stolen my suitcase from, and it had my conducting suit and everything. This was the more beginning of the day. And so this was serious business. When a conductor is without a conducting suit, you can just imagine what the alternative is. <laughs> So that's the case of the stolen conductor's suitcase. <laughs> well, number three. What's number three? See, you got that. I know this is some. Uh, and when you get to be 88 years old, as, uh, after a few years, you may be there. And uh, you'll, you'll have these kind of cards. <laughs> This is not about anybody else, this is about me. Uh, I was, we were singing in, in a church near here. We were presenting the Brahms German Requiem, which I said is a great song of Christian immortality. Unfortunately, it came out Christian immorality. <laughs> Yes, we did. 
we were stopping for lunch. Now you know that college students are always hungry. <laughs> we were ready for lunch. We all got off the bus, went into this restaurant. We were seated, and when someone from management looked out and saw my face, yes, Lord help is right. <laughs> and they said, oh no, we can't serve you. We cannot serve you. Forty people plus Dr. Nicholson and the restaurant. They were willing to let that much money go because my face was black. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was the only in our in our minds what we're going to yes. acquire. Well, let me tell you, I, at that time, I was the only black woman on campus, and uh, Dr. Nichols was a true friend. When they said they couldn't serve us, he said, "That's all go." So they all got it. All of us got it. And because of that, he has endeared me to him all these years. I appreciate you so very much. Well, it was that that's the way. So we got out and went to the nearest Kroger store and <laughs> bought some stuff and went out and found a uh, stretch of grass. I, I like a park. And, and we had a picnic. Mm -hmm. <laughs>